Um, I think my Pokemon didn't get like, I think, yeah, Blaster didn't get healed. So, a good trick is, go to my house, or your, par your player's house. It's not even called your mom's house, it's just Godel's house. It's my house, I picked the mortgage too. Um, yeah, if we talk to mom, she will say this, Godel, you should take a rest, or whoever you're naming the character, you should take a rest. And she heals up your Pokemon. And the do 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 sound is so soothing, it's really relaxing, I like that chime. Oh good, you and your Pokemon are looking great. Take care now. Okay, bye mom. You're awesome. Keep keep on rocking and rolling. So now we can actually catch what Pokemon now that I have five Pokeballs. So let's go into Route 1 and see if we can... There's actually a Pokemon in this route I want to catch. It's going to be a Rattata. So let's see if we can find it just by trying... I'm going to try to get to, um, you know, Viridian City before I, um, um, you know, try to run into it. But if I run into it before Viridian City, that's okay too. It's a Pidgey, okay. So it's level 3. Um, this is- I'm just gonna paint this for experience. Tackle, let's see how much it does. It does about a third. And tackle, ooh, okay. Tackle again. One more tackle should paint this Pidgey. Okay, and there we go. Awesome. We got 23 experience. Nice. Oh wait, we, we didn't run into rat on that grass, because I realized that we got through the second patch of grass, or area of grass. Another Pidgey level 3, okay. I'm going to have to just faint this Pidgey, because stuff, because I don't want to use Pidgey on my team. No, Tackle miss. Ah, oh, no. Tackle, if that Tackle hits, yeah. I'm, no, oh shoot. Oh shoot, I should use a potion. I don't want to accidentally, like, well, I don't want to actually hit run, but then it says can't escape. Possibly say can't escape, you know, as a chance of it saying that. So I'm gonna use my last potion to heal Blaster, and I might as well run still, cause depending on how much damage, yeah, this is about 3 HP. So I'm gonna just run from this Pidgey, and hopefully in the next encounter I get a Rata, cause I think Pidgey is more common, I think, by a little bit on this route between Rata. Like Rata might be like what 40 appearance rate, and Pidgey might be 60 or something like that. I don't know. Hard to guess. Another Pidgey. I'm just gonna run from this. I need to find a Rata. I've already used two of my potions that I didn't really have to use if I was luckier, you know? Here's a Rata. It's level 3, okay. Um. I was gonna nickname this um, Rata Chelsea if it was female, and if it was male, I was gonna name it, would nickname it Charlie. But, um. I, I, um, I'll just name it, I'll just spell Chelsea, um, C-H-E-L-S-E-A, just like, um, my first uh, follower of this, tr uh, live stream sessions, because I think that's a good, I'm pretty sure that's, like, a, a correct way how to spell Chelsea anyway, so that's what it's, its nickname's gonna be if I can catch this thing. So, guys, it's gonna use Tail Whip, okay. I think it used Tail Tail Whips, actually, on me, or it's on my Blaster Squirtle. Let's go to Bag, and let's go to Pokeball, and let's just throw it at the Rata. There we go. Oh no, it broke free. I I I think Rata has like a really really high catch rate. Probably like honestly 255 out um out of 255, two over 255 like a fraction like the to catch rate thing. But um I'm surprised it didn't shake once at least. But I guess it's not in the red still. So I guess that's the factor why it didn't. One, two, three. There we go. We caught. We caught our first final member of our team, so now we have two final team members. Okay, so let me read its Pokedex entry. Um, it's number 19 in the Pokedex for Rata, Mouse Pokemon. Its height is 1 foot, its weight is 7.7 .7 pounds, and that's a little tiny paw print that looks like a... If the moon had another third thing coming out of the middle, like on a crescent of a moon, if that makes any sense at all. Its fangs are long and very sharp. They grow const uh, continuously so it gnaws on hard things to whittle them down. That's interesting. And it's purple and has really big buck teeth and it looks pretty cool. I mean, in multiplayer mode, Rata's not that good, but in single player mode, Rata's actually really cool. I'm, gonna, I'm really excited to use this on my team. I've heard that Rata's decently good. It's actually really good. If you know how to use it correctly and give it the right moves and stuff. Uh, Chelsea, yeah, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna name this Pokemon. C H E L S E A Chelsea. Ah, uh, not Chelsea. Ah, uh, no, not that. I didn't mean to put a B in there. Um, 
Yeah, that's good. And I forgot to show um Blasters, um, you know, summary and all that and ability and nature. Okay, so sadly my Squirtle is lonely. It has a lonely nature. That's kinda sad. It's um it's stability torrent. No, it's not like illegally um getting like videos and stuff and programs and movies. It's um it's actually its ability and it and basically it ups water moves in a pitch if the my squirtle has one third its HP or less. So we're talking yellow or red HP. So like it gets a boost of water type moves of one point five times or something like that. And it, and of course Boston knows tackle tail been level now. Okay, Chelsea. Chelsea's the timid nature. Has a timid nature with guts which ups attacks if suffering. I think it also upgrades attacks if it's low on HP, just kinda like Torrent is, but with like up with attack instead of water type moves, if I had to guess. Oh, by the way, um, Chelsea has really good speed and a good defense, and everything else is equal at 7, so yeah. And also, I should say this now, Blaster, I'm going back. Uh, Blaster has really good special defense and defense. But I wanted to, I wanted Blaster to have a good special attack too, but maybe that'll change later on, and maybe he'll turn out to be okay with not having special attack. Because I thought, um, you know, I thought Blastoise was gonna be a tank and stuff, and special attack, I guess, too. But that's okay. And then, of course, Chelsea, um, knows Tackle and Tail Whip. So that's awesome. So, I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and heal. So, yeah. This is some great music, by the way, from Route 1. Or for, was that Route 1? Let me just double, let me just double check Route 1, yeah. Okay. And Viridian City also has good Good music, sorry, I was in the middle of a burp. It was a small burp, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you heard it, if it's grossing you out. I didn't mean to... I never really burp out loud on purpose or when I have a burp coming on. So that's like, you know, the first time that's happened. And then Nurse Joy says, um, Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to heal your Pokemon? Yes or no, as you select. And then after that, the chime, like the do, 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 do. She'll say, um, well, Nurse or Nurse Joy. Um, you can call her either, I guess, in this game. Um, thank you, she'll say thank you for waiting, you restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. And she gives us a little bow too, that's cool, or curtsy, I guess you could say. And let's train up, um, you know, let's train up Chelsea a little bit. These first couple of battles, I'm gonna have to throw it out and switch, call it back, You're doing the switcheroo trick. Um, so, cause like it's a level 3 and it can't really do a full battle with, with itself without getting like in the reds by the end of battle if I get lucky. Cause like it's match, it ma the the right does match in level, but I might as well just switch out to Blaster, and you know, Chelsea will get experience for just being out. So that's what I plan on doing. So it's gonna use tackle. Okay, I'm gonna use tackle as well. It's another tackle war. Ooh, you got this though. You got this, Blaster. You can do it. One more tackle should faint it. But tackles, but Blaster's defense fell. Um, stat fell one. Um, level or one number, I should say. And there we go. Chelsea grew 12 experience. Buster grew 12 experience. Let's try to run into another wall Pokemon battle. So let's see. That's a cool transition, by the way. And going into battle with that little white fade out with the stripes. I like that one. Okay, here's a ride to level 3 again. I want to switch out to Blaster. Nothing big. There we go. And. It's gonna take, take some damage from that Rattata. And I'm gonna take more damage. Or to Blast. I shouldn't say I'm gonna take more damage. I should say Blaster or Squirtle's gonna take more damage. Because he's because my Squirtle Blaster is the one taking the damage. I always talk um, to my Pokemon or about my Pokemon in a different point of view, which I don't even know the number point of view that I'm saying all that in. Like, Blast. Oh, I took this so and so. I took three damage. I honestly don't know what the number of um, point of view that is, which is kind of sad. So I apologize for my lack of knowledge on that. I'm going to switch over to Blaster again. This is another Rattata to level 3, so I'm not getting much variety. I'd like to fight a Pidgey now or something, you know? Because <laughs> Rattata and Pidgey are the only like, two Pokemon that's route that I can fight as wild encounters. I'm going to use Tackle. Right, now, there I go again. Blaster and, or Squirtle is going to use Tackle. Oh no, I'm going to run from this battle. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal up my Pokemon. So let's do that real quick. Back in Viridian City. On the road, on the road to Viridian City. Viridian City. I really like that song from the anime. I think it's on a soundtrack too. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. Would you like, oh, welcome to our Pokemon Center. Not the Pokemon Center. Would you like to heal your Pokemon back to full health? 
Back to perfect health. I messed up on that too earlier. I, I said it wrong. But I'll say yes. Okay, we'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. I didn't even say that before. Thank you for waiting. We have restored your Pokemon to full health. We have to see you again. I bet you will. You'll see me a lot because I'm trying to level grind here. Because uh, there's actually an optional second double battle. Not second double battle. Second rival battle with your rival. But he, he has, he's going to have a Pidgey level 9 and then whatever your, whatever his starter was in the first battle level 9. So uh, it's some people just come back from Pewter City to um, battle him. Which I might want to do actually. Because I don't want to... Well, depending on how long it takes for me to level grind here. But I have to, I'm planning on catching a Sparrow too later on. So that'll be four members. Um, no, three members already before Verdant Forest. So I'm gonna have to train. But I think, Fear, Fear, uh, I almost said Fero. It's Evolve Form. It's Final Evolution. Uh, but Sparrow will, um, be really fast because it'll, it'll already know Peck. And... It, there's the monkeys on that route too, so where you catch it. So it's a really good, you know, place to train it um, when you first catch it. You know, in the in the same area too, which is very convenient. So that won't be as long, but I'm thinking like I'm training up, um, you know, Chelsea and yeah, still not level up on Chelsea. That's okay. Is Chelsea level four now? I forget. We'll see in a second, I guess. A Pidgey, a level three. Go Chelsea. Yeah, it's still level 3. So after this battle, Chelsea should be level 4. Well, it's taking a while to level grind here, but I guess it's not too bad. I mean, I'm hopefully I'm entertaining you guys, and guys and gals, and hopefully you're having fun. Yeah. Can use Tackle? Okay. Use, it's a Tackle again. I'm getting this Pidgey only knows Tackle. It doesn't learn Sand Attack its second move till level 5, so it's just a little, literally a Tackle War. Because I'm going to use Tackle instead of Bubble, and it's going to use Tackle because that's the only move that it can learn, or it has right now. So, yeah, I shouldn't say it's the only, the only Pokemon you can, the only move you can learn. I mean, that's not true. Chelsea, good level 4. And Blaster, good level, uh, got a level of experience points. It almost gripped good level 8, I believe, so. We're making it there slowly and surely. Another Pidgey, okay, level 3. Let's go, Chelsea. I'm gonna try, um, yeah, I'm a level ahead of this Pidgey, or, there I go again. Chelsea is a level ahead of this Pidgey, so let's see where this goes. Tackle attack. Let's see how much it does. About a third HP of its HP. Okay, this is we're in pretty good shape, as long as we don't miss or get a quick hit on us. But I probably just jinxed myself there. Okay, not, not, we, I didn't jinx myself yet. And I didn't jinx myself because I ended up taking down the Pidgey. There I go again. Chelsea ended up taking down the Pidgey. I gotta get better at that. I'm sorry, guys, that I'm referring to my Pokemon. As me, <laughs> and what they do as me. That's kind of mean, <laughs> but it's okay. It's all right. Okay, another Pidgey, level two. Okay, I think this is the first level two Pokemon we've seen on this route. At least in wild encounters. Ooh, a critical hit. Nice. It did over half HP. Okay, the Pidgey's gonna use tackle. There's three HP on Chelsea, and this should faint it. Yeah, there we go. Pidgey was fa fainted, and yeah. So like, once you get to level 4 or 5, this route becomes a lot easier to train on those Pokemon that you have uh, that are level 4 and 5 because the highest level in this, on this route is probably like a level 4. Um, I mean, I think in po uh, Pokemon Yellow, I remember they had a Pidgeys at level 5 in Pokemon Yellow in the original games, but I think in Leaf Green and Fire Red, they kind of didn't, well, they could have Pidgeys at level 5 in this grass, I'm not sure, but there's definitely no level 6 Pokemon, but I'm saying when you get to level 4 or level 5 for some of your Pokemon, then it, this route becomes easier to train on. Because I'm level 5, or there I go again, Chelsea's level 5 now, uh, and lo oh, was level 4, and, he, and she was handling them, handling the Pokemon on this route fa fairly well, so that's good. Good for Chelsea. Okay, here's Pidgey level 2. Okay, I'll take it. S okay, so I should be able to faint this Pidgey in 3 hits, about, I guess. Or Chelsea should. Okay, yeah, 3 hits. Oh no, how much did that do? And hopefully it did 3 HP, let's see. Did it do 3 HP? Yes it did, I'm at 1 HP, but Chelsea's faster than the Pidgey, so that's awesome. And that's the difference, basically. Because I got because Chelsea got attacked first. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to... Well, I should go back to the Pokemon Center and heal yet again. Because my Pokemon are low HP. 